This right here is the 2025 Ford Maverick Lobo. And in this video, we're gonna do a walk around and find out if this truck is worth $35,000. So let's start with the outside design because that is one of the standout features. It what really gives this street truck a character that's unique compared to the rest of the lineup. And starting up front, you see this unique front grill setup that has kind of vertical slats. It's fully blacked out. And you notice the Ford badge is actually black on white so kind of a heritage retro throwback looks really cool gives it that unique character but if you come along the side here you'll see you still get all new led headlights as part of that 2025 model year update which i like a lot more modern more sleek but also this paint matched front portion and then also paint matched down here with fog lights which is really cool so coming around the side one of the standout features you'll see is these turbo fan style wheels they're 19 inch fully blacked out and these tires measure 225, 55R19s. But what they did is they also lowered the suspension. The front sits a little bit lower and that gives it more of an athletic stance. Coming around the side here, you see Lobo unique badging. So that's like how you know, obviously, like you see the Lariat here, Tremor, this is Lobo. Lobo in Spanish, because I'm a very, you know, well-versed in the Spanish language, means wolf. So. Yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. Anyway, let's come along the side here. You still got keyless entry and go, which you expect when you start paying more than that $35,000 for a truck that starts at 26, you start to expect those types of features. Coming around back, it's cool to see that you can get a tunnel cover. That's really kind of, I feel like, street truck inspired. You get that nice streamlined, clean finish to the truck bed. And then coming around back, guys, you do get a different kind of rear, uh, rear end because of that paint match, full rear bumper setup. That really gives it that street truck inspired design and what i like and i love this touch a lot is the blacked out ford logo with the white lettering i think it's a, such a nice touch really completes the look of that entire street setup but let's show you the inside and talk about how the interior also gives you that standout unique character all right let's hop inside turn this on and talk about probably my favorite feature across the entire 2025 maverick lineup and that is this 13 inch touchscreen that has built-in wireless hotspot 5g capability built-in wireless apple carplay android auto we will lower the ac because oh it's in the touchscreen now there you go off um but this screen is so much nicer the old one was nice i have no complaints about it it's great it had apple carplay android auto this has that wireless capability and it's just it's just more modern i feel like will take you further because of the added capability that 5g capability and that's regardless of whether you're paying $35,000 or not. You get on a base LT, you're getting the screen, which is awesome. Coming down here, you see some unique accents. The blue on the vents. This also has, you know, some, uh, this also has your volume knob here. You do get pro trailer backup on this and uh, that assist feature. Down here, you see your USB-A and USB-C for connectivity as well as charging. Power sliding rear glass window. You get a 12 volt here, your push button start wireless charger phone stand we've seen this before and then the same center console setup nothing's really changing here guys and you also get that big cubby but let's talk about these seats guys the unique lobo seats you get that kind of like that graffiti print embossed in the uh, uh backrest looks pretty cool i think they're going for a certain type of style uh especially with these like blue and yellow stitching that goes all the way throughout I mean, it shows they're trying to give these trucks different characters. All right, on the driver's side, let's talk about the door panel really quickly. It's a carryover, very similar to what we've seen in the past, but some unique accents like this under kind of handle portion and that matching blue accent. If you go on to, you don't see anything unique here with the, the door sill and there's no like unique Lobo branding. Power seats, these are heated, uh, if I didn't mention that earlier. You do get a sunroof as well on this. And then what's unique to this is paddle shifters. We didn't get on the CVT. This has a seven speed transmission and they try to make it you know sporty shifting we'll, we'll wait to drive it to find that out for sure but regardless you still get the large eight inch touchscreen or eight inch digital gauge cluster that's standard across the maverick lineup so you're not paying extra for that that comes with it from the factory so you really got to pick do you want something with that street inspired design from the factory or do you want to take a, like a base model and do it yourself that's really kind of i feel like i might lean towards the base model 26 grand you could do a lot of the stuff uh, to your own taste if you don't want it from the factory but it's cool to see that they're offering it from an outside design, inside design. But what they're really offering to you guys is some performance uh, and some actual hardware changes. So let's talk about that. So under the hood of the Ford Maverick Lobo is the uh, EcoBoost engine. It makes 238 horsepower, 277 pound-feet of torque. But aside from getting the higher performance engine from the Maverick, you also get some power delivery things. So things like your torque vectoring, 
rear differential. Let's talk about that. And I want to show it to you on this unit really quickly because it also has some other stuff. So this is a blacked out, you know, version of the Lobo. You get some unique wheels, but you do get a uh, rear unit, drive unit in the back, and that's meant to send power to the outside wheels to help you turn. So it's not just a brake kind of vectoring, it's a torque vectoring, active power going to those outside wheels to make this handle better. Also, as far as front steering goes, they took the, uh, they upgraded the rear steering unit from another vehicle that's in Europe that has a quicker steering ratio to give you that more nimble driving feel. Um, and then, and actually take a look at these brakes guys. What they did is they give you a bigger dual piston brake setup. So what's, what's interesting is they actually gave these pads more of a comfort pad setup, but they gave you the calipers. And the reason that's important is because if you want to drive this every day, they're going to give you the comfort pads. If you want to go autocrossing, swap the pads out yourself, hit the autocross course, hit the track, do whatever you want. Go, you know, do some burn, no, don't do burn, don't do burnouts. It's all wheel drive. I don't think you can do burnouts, honestly, but have some fun. And it's all you need is just something you could do at home in your driveway with not much effort. Swapping pads is like a, you know, 15 minute job, probably more, probably like a 35, 40 minute job if you're doing all four corners but changing calipers, you gotta bleed them. It's a lot more work. Okay, I do wanna show you guys these second row seats on the Lobo really quickly because I really appreciate the fact that they carried over the same materials and stitching, and like the same treatment from the front seats onto the back. Usually with these affordable trucks, this is where you see the skimping. And I like that they didn't do that. Look at the stitching they have here. Look at the nice texture they have on the center of the backrest, as well as the bottoms over here. You also still get the new 4 2025 cup holders in the middle. It's really nice, really softly padded. It just feels really premium, honestly. And at a price of $35,000, honestly, like you, you appreciate seeing that. Another thing I noticed just looking at it is blue speckles. It's a nice little attention to detail. It gives it that street vibe, like I've been saying like 50,000 times in this video, if you guys didn't pick that up. But in the back, you also get USB-C ports here, which is a nice update. I love to see that. You also get a wall outlet, which is a 120 volt, 400 watts. If you want to really, you know, bump some speakers in here, I don't know what that has to do with it. Anyway, uh, you get your fit system for the 3D printed parts you want to put in here. So those also have the same thing over here. You get one and two QR code for those, you know, DIY tips, the data files if you want to make those 3D printed parts, which is great. And they fold back down to actually fit people back here. So honestly, guys, interior is a really nice update. It's a nice design for a nice, you know, set of customers that I don't think we're getting trucks that had a uh, model dedicated for street trucks. People were taking, I think, older trucks and modifying them. Uh, it's nice to see that this is something that they're trying to continue on into the future. But yeah, guys, that's gonna wrap it up here. Let me know what you guys think of the Ford Maverick Lobo. Do you guys like it? Do you guys think you would rock this, have some fun with it, drive it like I think a Focus, S, uh, Focus ST, you know, type vibe. I feel like that's kind of what they're going for, but in a truck for the modern era. Again, if you guys enjoyed the video, smash the like button, subscribe for more. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.